every iPhone since the iPhone XS can detect liquid inside the lightning port of the iPhone. And it sends you this scary message, liquid detected in lightning port and they don't want you to, you know, charge your iPhone and there's water in there and can cause corrosion and all sorts of problems. Brand new iPhone SE 3, Pyrex used. Boom. Look at us. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna take it out of here just like you probably did, and now you're watching this video. People accidentally put their phone in Pyrex, and then they're like, you know what? And this is plugged into my computer. Let's charge it. Let's see what the heck happens here. Just wanna make sure we have the shot in case it blows up. Boom. Oh, it Wow, worked. look at that. Liquid detected. Liquid detected. Charging is not available because liquid has been detected in the lightning connector. Disconnect to allow the connector to dry. What do you do when you see a message like this? Well, first of all, oh, watch a video yeah. on YouTube. Watch a video. <laughs> Unplug your phone, leave it out because if there is liquid in the lightning connector, which can happen, which can happen, it can get into your phone, cause corrosion when it's charging. Yeah, and obviously shorting out. So there's these little pins on the lightning cable, and Apple actually says, water can get in underneath the little pins on the lightning cable, so be careful of that. Yes, so this can happen when there's liquid on the lightning cable or in the lightning port. So if you see this message for the first time, try another cable to see if the message persists. If it happens with both cables, there's liquid in the lightning port itself. If it's just one cable, it's that cable that is, you right. know, has liquid. This is what happens to me and has happened to me in the car before is I have like a drink in the cup holder, but then I also have my cable mm -hmm. near the cup holder. And I've gotten this warning in the car and it's actually the cable. So here's what Apple recommends to do. First, they recommend holding your phone vertically and tapping on the back of it. I'm not too thrilled about like that. Yeah. I'm not super thrilled about that because if you just happen to okay. drop your phone in the toilet or the lake or the pool or a Pyrex cup of water, the water could have gotten deeper into your iPhone. So holding it vertically like that could cause the water that's deeper inside of your iPhone to move around and, and reach more parts of your iPhone. So I'm not, I, yeah. I kind of disagree with Apple on that unless it's just, you know, you just the yeah. tip. Yeah, just unless it's just the tip. Unless it's just the port. Next, leave it out for about 30 minutes. So just let it dry out a little bit. A lot of the time, that is enough time if there's just water inside the port itself. Again, if it's all over your phone, 30 minutes is not gonna be long enough to dry out your entire phone, but just leave it flat surface. If you have desiccants lying around, just put them you know, near the port of your iPhone, maybe accelerate that drying process a little bit. Studies have shown that leaving an iPhone out, or actually they did it with hearing aids, leaving electronic devices out to dry is more effective than putting it in a closed bag mm -hmm. with rice. Yeah, don't use rice. Yeah, don't use rice. Because then instead, it doesn't of, work. instead of water in the port, you'll also have rice in the port yep. with water. Yeah, it's grain sized, rice grain sized, and then that is like next to impossible to get yep. out. You'd be amazed. Yeah, so let's talk about how to dry out this iPhone. All right, let's talk about it. Well, so first we're gonna use the microfiber cloth, wipe down the exterior of it. Wiping down the outside of the phone, wow. Yep. It's okay to use a tissue, like sort of wadded up, as long as it's not gonna leave lint. So I have tissues over there, would you hand me one of those? These are fine, because they're, you know, two-ply Kleenex, and there's no aloe, but if there's aloe on it, mm -hmm. forget it, because it's gonna get wet, and I think that, you know, in this case, you just have to be careful, but I could stick a little tissue in there and do that and be fine. If you dropped your entire phone and it got totally submerged, we also recommend removing your SIM card. First of all, the water could damage your SIM card and then you'd have no service. Also, opening up that SIM card tray gives more ways for the water to escape your phone. I think we're going a little deep here, David, which is which is a good thing, I think, for some people, but other people may just have a simple problem with yeah. like a specific cable, or yeah. they just need to set their phone aside. I wouldn't do this until you were sure that there was more wrong with your phone than just having to set it out for 30 minutes. Yeah, so you do have the option to do an emergency override when you see this notification on your phone. If it is just one cable, just take that cable out, swap in a new one, done. If it is every cable because the liquid is in the port, you really shouldn't do the emergency override because just the liquid that's, it, that's trapped in there can cause corrosion short of your iPhone. It could leave it totally broken. Right, it's interesting they built in this feature though because you really should use it if it's an emergency. Yeah. Give it a whirl. 
Yeah. No guarantees. Let, let us let us know how that goes for you if you did the yeah. emergency override. Another question we see a lot when this problem comes up is can I wirelessly charge my iPhone? Because I can't charge it with the wire. Can I just stick it on a wireless charger? Apple says that's okay. Yeah. And if it's just water contained in your port, again, it's probably fine. If it's water all throughout your phone, you be careful. You've got other problems yeah. at that point. I mean, that's really what it comes down to with this specific issue. Did it happen after you dropped your phone in the lake? Or did it happen after you stuck a cup of Pepsi mm -hmm. on your iPhone cable that was in your car and you plugged it in and that pop-up showed up? Yeah, it's still there. Right. So I just cleaned this all off mm -hmm. and I'm still getting the message whenever yep. I plug in this cable. This is what happens. It's very sensitive once it gets the idea that liquid's in there. Mm -hmm. You just have to wait. Yep. And now I'm going to have to wait to not use this phone. Yep. Well, or this cable. That's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, so start with 30 minutes when you see this message. If, you know, 30 minutes goes by, it's still not working, another 30 minutes, and I guess you could check every 30 minutes. Apple says start with 30 minutes, then go to 24 hours, but I think you could, you know, try you it check out. In between. You could check in between. Nothing, nothing bad's going to happen to you there. Nope. A few things you definitely shouldn't do. Obviously, you said iPhone and rice, terrible idea. Blowing air into the port. Uh, you, you think that, you know, intuitively you think that might dry it, but what it's gonna do is just push the water further up into the port and maybe yeah, deeper and, into your phone. Yeah, and I mean, moisture. Moisture, yeah. Bodies are made of water-ish, kind of. Also, Part with the uh, hair dryers too, those can heat up your phone quite a bit, so just be careful of those. Yeah, and they can mess with the waterproof coating if yeah. it gets too hot. Yeah. So don't use that. For more tips on what to do when your iPhone is wet, card above and in the section below the subscribe button, right next to that subscribe button is that big join button. We have some people who clicked that button and became members. They are Jerry Taylor, Darren Duffield, Mona Peterson, Susie Cottle, Robbie Barnard, and David O'Brien, our second Super David. Yeah, can I see the list? Look at these fine people. Darren Duffield says, I saw that. Karma. That's a, that's a profile picture. Oh. I saw that. Karma. Thanks, everybody. I like it. Yep. Click that join button below this video. Member shout outs, special badges and emojis, and a lot more. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you had this problem before. We'd be happy to talk to you about it further. Yeah, and how it happened to you. Was yeah. it Pyrex or something else? Yeah. Thanks for watching.